Aaron, can you come here? They picked something for you to do. Can you come here. No, it? Yeah. Hello. You want to go down that way? Oh, you shortcut. A shortcut. Hello, Birdie. <laughs> Hello, are you excited? Let me look at the chat. What? Are you whistling? That is so nice. That's so nice. You guys, this is Siren. If you're not familiar, she's a blue fronted Amazon. She loves talking while I'm talking. People really love her. People love all of our parents. We have them though as ambassadors for the exotic pet trade. A lot of people think they want parents as a pet. Don't realize how loud they are. Don't realize that they can chew through wood, bite through your fingers, break skin. They can cause hearing loss because they are so loud. Siren's really great at showing everybody how loud and obnoxious they can be. On top of all these things, they are in Notice, it's only while I'm talking. On top, on top of all of those things that I... Seven, on top of all those things that I just described, these birds in particular can make 50 to 60 years in captivity. We don't know how old Siren is. Um, yeah, so it's like having a toddler that can chew through wood and bite and cause hearing loss for 60 years, uh, which is just not realistic for most people. And so a lot of parrots end up in rescues. Um, despite all of those things, people don't know about that, okay? The demand for parrots is still really high. Between 2010 and 2019, over half a million parrots were exported for the pet trade from the wild. These birds in, particularly, in particular have a super predictable, <laughs> super predictable nesting behavior. Um, they're always in the same trees. It's always at the exact same time of year, so they're really easy to poach. And so people will pick up baby sirens out of the wild um, and put them in the hubcaps of cars and you know go across lines um, and put them in PVC pipe and water bottles and ship them in cargo on airplanes uh, just to get them in the states. It has caused blue-fronted Amazons uh, to have a declining population. That and habitat loss, but habitat loss is for every species on the planet. That is my spiel. Hi. Hi. So, Hello. that's a nice kiss. Hi. Happy birthday. 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 Birthday is very nice. Siren has also been learning sea shanties, okay? Sea shanties? So, Kayla, um, uh, has been trying to teach Siren the sea shanty, and it's really low. Siren, besides the sea shanty, only knows how to sing happy birthday, and so she kind of combines the two, but you guys chose a sea shanty sing-along. Here is Siren's version of Hoist the Colors. notes. It's whatever word she wants, actually. Who cares about the actual words? <gasps> what even happened? I wasn't looking. Did you get knocked off because you came to bully someone? Is that... Can... Where are you going? You want to turn around? Can you step up? Are you upset? Can you say, oh... 
What terrible consequences for my actions? Can you say consequences? That was pretty close. Can you say, dang it? Can you say, I'm so sorry, man. I should let you have attention also because I get so much. It's only fair. All right. Guys, that is it for the parrot. We also have these two macaws. Um, I won't do anything with the macaws um, because they don't want me to. <laughs> uh, but that, oh wow, that's Tico. Uh, Tico's a blue and gold macaw. We also have Miley, she's a Catalina macaw. Um, but she is not interested in coming out and Tico is not interested in being my friend. I really wish she was though. Um, Um, Tico does really great with Kayla, with Kayla and Ella, um, but the truth is I just don't spend enough time with Tico and Miley, uh, for them to be fans of me. Uh, the macaws are especially particular about their people, um, they're very, very smart birds, they're very sensitive. Um, and so they're notoriously challenging to train and work with. Saren, did you need a, a moment? Do you want to tell them something? Now that we're looking at you, you're good. Carefully consider parrots as your choice of pet, all right? And if you are gonna get a parrot, some people ask me like, I really want one though, what kind? You can get like a cockatiel, all right? Or like something really small, but anything mid-size and up is usually a no-go for people. Um, just make sure whatever pets you buy, parrot or not, that they're captive bred. You don't wanna buy a wild caught bird, that's not cool. That's not cool. All right, we're doing a water break and then we're gonna set up for Stompy's, Stompy's pole. That they are kept what? Make sure that they're, sorry, make sure that they're born in captivity. Uh, make sure they're not a wild caught animal that you're buying as a pet. Thanks for clarifying. This is so fun. Hooray! Welcome. Hello, little Beezle. Be, you're on this list today. Are you excited? I have to trim the goat's hooves. I'll show you, look at this. Are you gonna be nice and let me show them? You have to trim the outside edges here so that they don't grow in. So you just have to cut it so it's flush. Thank you so much. I need to trim all their feet today. And that, that's the dream, is to trim their feet today. It's not that easy though. <laughs> all right, water break, water break.